What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Smash that like button and drop a comment if you got some comments, man. You already know, I appreciate your support. Hey, look, man, shout out to all my new subscribers, man. Shout out to all my subscribers. For all my subscribers that have subscribed to the channel yesterday, last night, you know, last week man shout out to all y'all man i appreciate all y'all support we growing the channel slowly but surely we getting there and we doing it because of you so i appreciate that man i appreciate all you guys with all the wonderful comments the nice things you guys got to say um i'm just glad you guys are getting some value from the content that i post man i'm so appreciative and so grateful just to be able to help it, even if i help one person out there that you get something from some of the content that I post, I appreciate it, man. So without further ado, um, I wanna get into today's topic. Um, I had a subscriber comment on one of my videos, I don't know, I think a, a day or two ago, and he asked me if I could make a video about having an automatic restriction on your license, right? So we had two questions. The first question was, if you have an automatic restriction on your CDL license, can you get it removed, right? The second question was, if you have an automatic restriction on your license, does that limit your income potential? Does it limit the amount of money you can make? So I'm gonna touch on both of those questions. I'm gonna answer them to the best of my abilities. Look, if you guys wanna add to my comments, and my opinions, definitely do so in, in the comments, man. You can put your thoughts down for sure. Add anything you wanna add. And let's hear what you guys have to say about it. So let me start with the first one. Can you get an automatic restriction removed from your CDL license? The answer to that question is yes, you absolutely can get an automatic restriction removed from your license. So in order to get an automatic restriction removed from your license, what you have to do is go down to your local DMV. You will have to retake the road test portion of the test. Just the road test, nothing else, right? You will have to take re retake the road test in a manual truck. So just be aware of that. But once you take the test and a manual truck, pass it, you won't have to worry about having the automatic restrictions on your license, right? And I'm pretty sure that's true in all states as far as the steps you have to take in order to get it removed. But if it's different and you guys out there know it's different, definitely put it in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that it's the same in each state. And you can also check your state as well, but that's how you would get your automatic restriction removed off your license. Going down to the DMV, retaking the road test portion of the test in a manual truck, passing, and you're good to go. No more automatic restriction, right? All right so that's the first question and answer out the way. Let's move on to the second question. The second question was, Will having an automatic restriction limit your overall earning potential, right? And this is my opinion. The answer to that question, my answer to that question is absolutely not, right? And the reason I say that is because of this. Actually, I have a couple of reasons, but the main reason I say no to that question is because if you look at the overall trucking environment or trucking culture and you see the transitions that have been made in terms of bringing in more automatics and moving out the manual transmission especially a lot of major carriers they're doing away with the manual transmissions for you know a number of different reasons um, you know, maintenance costs, um, just overall wear and tear 
that you have to deal with with the manual transmissions. Um, you know, you get more people who wanted to apply and work for the company if they have automatic transmission, especially like some of the newer CDL drivers. Um, you know, a lot of the CDL drivers are intimidated by the manuals. So, you know, if they don't have to worry about driving a manual, they're more than likely um, inclined to come apply and work for a company based on that reason, right? So it gives a lot of companies um, a bigger pool of candidates to want to come work for them, right? Um, and there's a lot of companies out there that have all automatic fleets and they make good money, right? Those truckers still make good money. So when you talk about um, limiting income potential or earning potential, I just think you still have an opportunity to make a lot of money with a lot of different trucking companies out there. So if it were me and I had a, and I had an automatic restriction on my license, I wouldn't be too discouraged about it. Um, I can take it even further than that. You have guys that have box trucks that don't even require a CDL license making really good money, right? Just running box trucks. Um, I just watched a YouTube video a couple days ago where a guy made over $32,000 um, in a month running box trucks. So, hey, obviously that's not including, you know, other expenses that you gotta take out from that um, to run the business. But hey, $32,000 a month, not having a CDL license, hey, it's, it's possible, it's doable. So again, I don't think if you only have automatic restriction that it's gonna limit the amount of money you, you can earn. I think that's really all up to the individual. Um, you know, another reason I say that is because what if you have automatic restrictions in your own operator and you have a automatic tractor? Auto, you know, you run an automatic truck. The income potential and the amount of money you can make is going to be based on you and just running, right? Being on the road. So when it comes to that, you make as much money as the effort you put into making, you know, making those runs, running those miles. So the income potential is really all up to you in that scenario. So Again, just my opinion, my thoughts. I just don't think having an automatic restriction would necessarily limit your earning potential. I really think that that comes down to you, your efforts, and how hard you want to work. With that being said, there are companies out there that will shy away from a person or, or CDL holder who does have an automatic restriction on their license. For example, let's look at a company like US Foods. We're gonna use a food service company. Let's look at US Foods. If you go on Indeed and you look at a US Foods job posting and you look at the requirements section, you're gonna see that it says manual transmission preferred. Candidate must be able to drive a manual transmission. Oh, I'm sorry manual transmission preferred not necessarily must be able to drive but manual transmission preferred so a company like that they're not wanting somebody who has an automatic restriction to necessarily apply for them like right you can apply but it's probably a small chance that they're going to look at hiring somebody who has an automatic restriction on their license they obviously want you to be able to drive both automatic and a manual so again you have companies like that that may shy away from a cdl holder who has automatic restriction so again i don't think it will limit your earning potential but i do think um there are companies out there that won't necessarily hire you with that automatic restriction on your license right but again there are a lot of trucking companies out there. You can still make a lot of money out there with only having the automatic restriction. So if I were you, 
I wouldn't get discouraged. Um, shout out to you for even getting your CDLs, Class A license, congratulations. You still can have a really good career with the automatic restriction. But if you choose to get a remove, that just gives you a lot of more, a lot more opportunities um, to find other jobs, right? Just gives you, you know, more opportunity to find better jobs, more jobs, because you don't have that restriction on your license, right? But again, if you look at the overall trucking industry, a lot of these companies are going automatic fleet. So again, that should be encouraging for you just to know that most companies nowadays, they're going auto. That's just what it is. So it wouldn't affect you if you only have an automatic restriction. So that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. Um, again, I hope you guys put it in the comments what you think. What are your thoughts? You heard the questions. Let me know in the comments. To my subscriber that asked me to touch on these two things, I hope I was able to help you. If you watch this video, definitely let me know in the comments, man. Again, congratulations. First and foremost, just for getting your CDLs and want to come and make some big things happen in this career. Shout out to you. Hope you have a successful career in this trucking or whatever else endeavor you want to pursue in life. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to all you guys again for supporting the channel. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Drop a comment if you got some comments. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.